Today we're going to talk about what nobody will tell you about living in the Northeast Tennessee area. Hi, I'm Tiffany Watts, a local realtor here in the Johnson City area. And if you're thinking about making a move here, then feel free to reach out. Here is my contact info. I quickly want to give a shout out to Todd Taylor, the banjo man, for graciously allowing me to use his music in my videos. Thank you, Todd. Uh, guys, go check him out. A link to his YouTube page is in the description. All right, I know the title, What Nobody Would Tell You About Living in Johnson City, uh, makes it seem like we have some kind of big secret out here. But this video is more geared toward what people may forget to tell you when talking about living in Northeast Tennessee. If you want to know the secrets, you're going to have to call me. Okay, if you relocate here, you're going to want to make sure you wash your car ever so often throughout the winter time. Now, we don't get a whole lot of snow here, but when we do, they salt the roads. And that salt is not good for your car, especially up underneath it. So be sure to run your car through a car wash after a snow, uh, or you can do it by hand if you want to freeze your butt off. Moving on. So we have this plant here called kudzu, or also known as Japanese arrowroot. It's an invasive vine that grows really well here, and it's from Asia. But it kills other plants and trees that it grows on. It's actually really pretty in the spring and summertime whenever it's green, but in the winter it turns a really ugly brown color. But I feel really sorry for people with property that has that kudzu on it. The internet said it could grow a foot per day. And it's not just located here in Tennessee, it's located throughout the eastern portion of the United States, uh, primarily. I've seen like old abandoned houses completely covered in it and you wouldn't even know that there was a house there. Now it's not like this stuff is growing everywhere in Northeast Tennessee, it's just in some locations here and there you'll see it. Just be mindful of it if you're shopping for like larger pieces of land. All right, so we can get some crazy fog around here. And I'm not like sure if I'm really exaggerating or not. Now, I know places all over the US get fog and I think maybe just our higher elevations here, it can get maybe a little worse uh, if you're trying to cross a mountain or something like that. The fog can get so bad that sometimes people have to pull over um, just because they can't see hardly at all, especially if it's raining. Usually the fog will set in uh, after it rains. And sometimes we get fog advisories. Um, we get them sometimes in the mornings when we're on our way bringing our kids to school. So the other day I saw on the news how the state of Tennessee was ranked like I think number eight out of all the states for potholes. Now, before I had seen that on the news, I hadn't really ever thought too much about it, but they're actually probably right. I mean, our main roads in Northeast Tennessee are pretty good, but when you get on some of these back country roads, there could be plenty of potholes. And I'm pretty sure the road that I take to get to my house here in Limestone is probably the worst. <laughs> now, if you relocate here and you go out to weed your lawn, do yourself a favor and wear a pair of pants. Try to protect yourself from poison ivy because chances are you're going to run into it. That stuff grows everywhere and sometimes people have really bad reactions to it. Now if you do happen to have a run in with it, just hurry and go inside and take a shower and try to wash those poison ivy oils off your skin. Now I'm going to leave you with a tidbit of advice before I let you go. If you are moving here, purchase yourself some orange. Get some of that UT merch and you'll fit right in. Thanks for watching.